Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to look at how to fix lag or micro stutter in games. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so you're playing your favourite games and you're getting some really weird either lag spikes or micro stutters in your games. Now there's a couple of settings you can change in the command prompt to make things a little bit better. Now this relates mostly to the high precision event timer. Now this is essentially a clock which runs inside your PC on a slightly higher level than essentially the real time clock. So sometimes the clock can go a little bit screwy and the precision isn't as good as what it should be. So what you can do if your system is affected by this, now it sometimes happens if you've had your BIOS set incorrectly and it has things to do with ACPI and all those kinds of things. So one thing you can do to see if it is your problem is to actually disable HPET altogether. Now, there's two commands you can try. Now this works in uh, pretty much most operating systems that had HPET. So that's pretty much anything from Vista up to Windows 10. So you, you can give it a try, see if it works for you. One of the commands probably won't work under Windows 10, but you can give it a go anyway. So the two commands you want in the command prompt so you need its administrator rights is bcd edit space forward slash set space disable dynamic tick then a space then the word yes and press enter if everything's okay you should just go back to the command prompt if there's any problems then you can skip down to the next line and the next line is bcd edit space forward slash set space use platform clock space then true press enter and again you shouldn't have any problems and it should just go back to the command line now if for any reason this doesn't improve your performance and doesn't remove your lag or your spikes or your stuttering you can always reset them back all you do is put the same commands in but change yes for no and true for false pretty simple now if you want it even simpler I'm going to put these commands in plain text in the comments section below so you can copy and paste them and put them into your command line. If you've got any comments or questions, again, you can put that in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing, Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.